Visitors to the exhibition's public opening were regaled with live Arabian music and watched calligraphers write their name in Arabic. In addition, children got a chance to experience the work of archaeologists. Well, they're learning about what archaeologists do, um, which connects to our exhibit because all the pieces were found in archaeological digs. Um, I think it's also important that they're learning the kinds of questions that archaeologists ask. So when someone finds a shell, I'll say, well, what does that tell you? You know, and that kind of leads them to say, well, maybe there was water nearby. Um, you know, when you find an arrowhead, what does that mean? Those are the kinds of questions that archaeologists ask. I loved it, and well, we were doing an archaeological dig um, for to see how it was like to go in a desert and search for artifacts and stuff like that, and yeah, and take notes. So yeah, it was really fun. Roads of Arabia contains more than 300 objects, including monumental human statues and gold masks and jewelry. They provide a haunting glimpse of previously unknown Arabic civilizations that thrived along old spice and incense trade routes for several thousand years before the arrival of Islam. Walking through uh, the show um, during this past week with, um, with some of our guests, everybody is just amazed at what they see and everybody says well we didn't know about this and I think that's what is the most important is present um, a facet an aspect of um, of Arabia that is unknown that will change um, everybody's uh, impressions um, perceptions and really sort of encourage um, greater greater interest in the area Visitors admired unearthed archaeological finds and enjoyed the day's celebration. Well, I was born in Czechoslovakia, Czech Republic now, and I came to uh, Washington to see this exhibition because I'm an artist and I'm looking for inspiration. But truly what I found is more than inspiration. I am really blown away. It is amazing. It is fantastic. I love it. It's very interesting. I mean, and very well uh, organized and uh, we enjoyed very much. Well, we uh, wanted to make a little family trip today. It's a weekend and uh, my wife found out about this on the internet. So we decided to come down and take a look and see what was happening here. And we're very happy to see what we were, we found so far. Alhamdulillah. And how are you finding it, Khadija? What's most interesting here for you? Um, I really look forward to seeing the Saudi music thing, but everything looks really good. The exhibition also contains a more recent section with beautifully engraved tombstones from pilgrimage trails leading to Mecca and Medina. After finishing here in February, Roads of Arabia will travel to Houston, Chicago, and finally Boston. Today's public opening of the exhibition was very well attended. Many visitors said it was a rare pleasure seeing an exhibition of newly unearthed objects they knew nothing about. Burton Bolag, KSA 2, Washington.